Good afternoon, guys. This is Sharon from the House of Prayer. I've had a couple of prayer requests. And I put a video up this afternoon, and several people have made comments about it. And I just want to say that I love the camaraderie that you are having with each other. Discussing the video, discussing what's going on in these terrible times. We know that Jesus is coming soon. We know that. We are near the end, guys. We are near the end. And it's so disheartening for what they're doing to our children. But the prayer request was to pray against pestilence and diseases. That was one. And the other one was to pray about the laborers. But I wrote back and I asked him or her to explain that to me a little bit more. And so I received another answer and it said to pray for the harvest workers, the laborers that are going to be going out into the field. And I know that over the past year, we have discussed that quite a bit. But I just want to remind you also that that's part of why God is having us build the safe haven here in the mountains of Virginia. He told me that this is a safe place. We are so close to getting that finished. Um, they were working on the insulation today. And they didn't have the rest of the supplies they needed. So they had to stop working for the day. And they'll be back on Monday. And then we can get started and get it finished and be ready for the children that come here, the children of God. And for the ones that he specifically tells me are coming. Now, Sister Kim told me last year that they may come and just barely make it to the front door and before they pass. But they'll be here long enough for us to get them ready or get their hearts or their souls ready to meet Jesus and let me tell you something there's nothing better than knowing that we got another soul to heaven that's what he wants us to do so I'm working as hard as I can to provide this place for them and I know that my earth angel is also, she has donated so much money and so much of supplies for the safe haven. And I received a message today telling me that someone is sending me $200. And that is a lot to me. It means the world to me. Knowing that we can, as a family, as a house of prayer family, get this safe haven together for when it is needed. And I just feel in my spirit that it's going to be needed very soon. I keep saying God is never late. He's right on time. And there must be a specific reason why we had such a delay over the fall and winter. And spring, actually, because here it is summer. But it's coming together. It's finally coming together. So, I just praise the Lord for that, guys. I praise the Lord. So, we're going to go into prayer about all this right now. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ... Before we start, we're going to repent, Lord, of everything we have done or said to make sure that our bodies are clean before you. We want to thank you 
also, Lord, before anything else, before we even ask what we're going to ask of you, because we know that thanking you up front is a sure assurance that it's going to be answered. That seed is planted today, and we are going to keep watering it and thanking you because we know that it's coming. So we thank you in advance, Lord. We've learned a lesson today to keep thanking you and not wait until it comes because that's not faith. Thanking you up front for what's coming shows how much faith we have, Lord. And we have the faith. You know that we have some faith. We have a lot of faith. So, Lord, I'm asking you right now to take away the pestilence and the disease from your children. We ask this in Jesus' name. And we are asking you to prepare, which I already know that you are, Lord. But we are praying for the harvest workers, that they are ready. That more people will volunteer to be a harvest worker. And we're praying for the safe haven to be completed and paid for. And supplied the way that you want it supplied. Lord, we thank you. (coughs) For everything that you do for us. Lord, I want to thank you for the way that the communication has been going back and forth between several of the House of Prayer subscribers. I loved seeing it. I know that you've enjoyed it. Lord, we just thank you so much right now. And we pray that you bring more of us together. And have full conversations on these topics. And Lord, I praise you for sending us more subscribers. Lord, because that's more souls that we can love on and nurture. And plant seeds in. And watch them grow. Lord, we just thank you for every single thing. Lord, I have somebody that I'm going to counsel tonight that doesn't want their name mentioned. But you know what's going on there. So God, I pray that you send the Holy Spirit upon this conversation that I have tonight. Lord, this person loves you so much, just like we all do. And we just want to praise you, Lord, because of the love that you showed your children. And I can feel the Holy Spirit here right now, so I know that he's going to be here when I have this phone conversation. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And thank you for working out the financial part of this project. Lord, help us to reach the children who have not taken this evil thing that they had been pushing on us and the babies. Lord, I've been hearing about more babies being found dead. More babies are being abused sexually and they're being eaten and sacrificed. Lord, we pray for the babies. I know that you can't tell us to pray for the babies. And I've been I've been lax in doing that recently. And I repent for that. 
But Lord, give us what to say, what to pray for. Be intercessors for the children and for the parents. And help the Patriots finish blowing up those dumbs. Collapse them. All the underground stuff. We just praise you and thank you for that right now, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.